Keep your ducks in a row is good advice, but did you ever wonder why ducklings do tend to keep in a row behind their mother? It's Ig Nobel November where I'm talking about quirky and funny scientific research that won an Ig Nobel Prize. First let's look at some duck diagrams. These show the fluid dynamics of ducks in different states. This duck in calm water only experiences buoyant hydrostatic forces shown by blue lines. But this duck is swimming against the wave crest, so the net force is moving against the direction of movement, and the duck has to work harder to move forward. But this duck here is riding the wave and gets propelled by it. In 1994, a team of researchers found that ducks tend to do just that when they studied 12 groups of 7 one-day-old ducklings. They had them imprint on a decoy female mallard duck and had them swim around a tank. Then last year, another team worked out the mass of the fluid dynamics involved. They found that with optimal spacing, the first two ducks actually experience negative drag, so get pushed along. And the rest of the ducklings experience no drag at all. Two things allow that to happen, wave riding, what we talked about earlier, and wave passing. The mother duck makes the biggest waves, but the rest of the little duckies make their own little waves too. And they can interfere constructively or destructively with the rest of the waves. And again, with optimal spacing, the little duckies pass a wave back for the next little ducky to ride. And they all keep going with nearly 100% reduction in drag regardless of group size. The two teams of researchers won the 2022 Physics Prize for attempting to understand the duckling question.